Ireland beat Armenia 3-2 at the Aviva Stadium. Armenia had beaten us uh, in the first game uh, of this series of what's called the Nations League, which seems a rather pointless competition from many points of view, but it does give managers a chance to get their players together and for an international team manager, a, a week with your players is a very rare chance to change things. And I'm joined now by two of Ireland's greatest ever footballers and best analysts, really, John Giles and Liam Brady, both of whom were in the stadium last night, Liam working for RTE and John as a guest of the FAI. John, what did you make of the game last night from start to finish? Well, Ireland made a good start, I mean, as we know, they dominated the game. Uh, they got a couple of goals up and finished up winning on a penalty, a controversial uh, penalty at that. And I, I think it was sort of typical of the way the Irish team play, Eamon. Yeah. Uh, I think when they have the ball, they're attacking. Yeah. Right. And they got two up. And normally in, when you get two up, well, the best teams when they get two up, in my opinion. Yeah. Sense the danger of the opposition getting getting back at them, right? But we we don't have anybody, particularly in the middle of the field, that can do that. Yes. So when we were two up, uh, uh, Stephen Kenny said it after us. We went for three up. Yeah. Because that's all we can do. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, we can't control the game. Say we're two up. They're getting it back, and we we hold on to the ball and keep the ball. We're going for the next one. We're going for the next one. And we've got very good defenders, as we know. But we don't have anybody going forward that can control the game. We're all, we're all or nothing, do you know, in many ways. Yeah, it just uh, what I thought, and I, I put this to Liam, to both of you, really. Jason Malumbi is a good grafter in midfield. He works, he closes, puts pressure on the ball. When he got, he got away, he should have been sent off. He'd been booked early in the game. And then he had another bookable offence. He, he got away with it. I don't know how the referee, because he actually put his hand in uh, as if to go into his pocket. Immediately after that, Stephen Kenny took him off and put Conor Aaron on. Now, a lot of the scrapping in midfield, a lot of breaking up the uh, Armenian play was done by Malumbi. When he went off, I thought that made a difference. Uh, would you agree with that, John? Uh up to a point. Right. Um, he's good at winning the ball. But my take on it is when Ireland get the ball. Yes, I know that. The best yeah. way to the best way to defend it is when you have the ball. Yeah. There's only one ball on the pitch. And yep. and like if you get a top player in the middle of the field, uh, you notice you pick it up. This is we're, we're, we're under a bit of pressure here. Better get a hold of the ball. A little ball here, a little ball there. Liam could do it right now. Now there's yep. not many Liams around as we know. Yep. But that's the that's the way I see. I don't. I think the, the, the lad you mentioned is a good grafter. Malumbi, yeah, yes. he's a, he's a he's a kind of he, he's a worker, box to box. Yeah, he's a worker. Yeah. But you need somebody though, somebody who can get on the yes. ball and hold it, give it here, give it there, take the pace off it. Yeah, we don't have anybody. We we need we're all go. Yes, or no go. You know, you put the opposition back into the game, and Stephen was saying it afterwards. Uh, we went for the third goal. Yeah. You know, that's that. what he was saying, in effect, was that's what we did. You know, we went for the third goal and, and left it open at the back. But that's what you do if you do that. So yeah. we have to, the game has different spells in it, as we know, Amy. You're on top, you go, you get your goals. Then there's, then there's warning signs. This team is getting on top of us again. Then yeah. you slow it down and you give it here and you give it there and you take the, you take the steam out of it. Yeah. We don't have anybody to do that. We're really good defenders coming on to it. They're going on to the ball. When they're, we're attacking, they're attacking. Everybody's attack, attack, attack. And then you leave yourself open. And right. I think that's what, that's what is, is liable to happen to us in any game. And it happened, I think it happened last night. Yeah. Liam, what did you make of it? Because I know we didn't have a chance to talk to you on Monday, but I know from watching you on uh, Saturday night after the Scotland game, having been, you know, skeptical of Stephen Kenny and his, the way he plays and what he'd done, you were impressed with the performance in Scotland, uh, as indeed I was, and I think John was too. It was a good game and in the end, an unfortunate penalty won it for Scotland. But you said, yep, yeah, this is progress and you were impressed up to a point having been sceptical and rightly so of whether Stephen was the man for the job. What did you make of last night and the way 
we kind of, I think you used the word complacency when you were analysing the match after the game last night. Lack of concentration, I, I would agree with that. And also lack of leadership. Someone to, you know, to be telling the guys around him, a Roy Keane, a John Giles, a Liam Brady, or even me, come on, let's get our shit together. <laughs> we're, we're, what are you laughing? I could talk. I couldn't play, but I could talk. <laughs> come on, well, anyway. Uh, it's your opinion. Right, David, right. It was good. It was good for 70 minutes. Uh, it wasn't It wasn't exceptional, as Stephen Kenny said yeah. in one of his quotes uh, to Tony O'Donoghue after the game. I thought that was uh, 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 greatly exaggerated. It was good, and we were in control of the game against a team that really showed very little inclination to try and win the match. Uh, yes. Armenia just sat back and it almost looked as if they were trying to keep the score down, you know. Yeah. We switched off on the 71st minute in midfield. Yes. A, a ball from the goalkeeper was rolled past seven players, I mean. Seven players was rolled into um, the Armenian midfield player. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jeff Hendrick didn't bother picking him up. Yeah. Nobody bothered picking up. Now, maybe that's what you and John are uh, on about. They need somebody in there. You need somebody in there and say, right, get in your position. You pick him up. You pick yeah. him up. Um, seven players were taken out of the game. And within a second or seconds, they were two on two on our last two defenders. Yes. Even yes. even Collins was in a bad position. He had yes. pushed forward. So that was the complacency I was on about, Eamon. It was almost like, uh, we, we're we're going to we're going to beat these three or four. They're hopeless. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, we're, we're, we 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 made this horrendous mistake, uh, and then compounded it by making an even worse mistake through Uran. Yes. With a ridiculous ball across the uh, across the box or across the the middle of the pitch, should I say? And uh, and then we find ourselves two two after being totally in control of a match and, and look like going on to win three or four. So we really, we really made our own problems. And I, I was a bit, I, I was a bit disappointed in Stephen Kenny when he come on the, he should have been saying, look, we, there's things to sort out in that dressing room. We know it. Yeah. Yeah. We were good for 70 minutes, but you can't have that kind of, you can't have that kind of organization. You can't have that kind of play. Uh, you know, if we want to, if we want to improve and let's face it, Eamon, uh, over the over the course of his tenure, he he's had some terribly bad results, hasn't he? Against teams that are far inferior yes. to us, and and if yeah. he's going to make a fist of qualifying for the Euros, we have just got to cut all that out. Yes, and 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 last night was a little example of what needs to happen to to give us a better chance of qualifying. Yeah, John, the question of when you, the game we're two 0 up and the the sort of zip has gone out of the game. The complacency's there. People aren't getting tight on the opposition because mm. this opposition, I mean, Armenia were hopeless. I think they're one of the worst things I've ever seen. Mm. That didn't even have the spirit. And as Liam describes it there, that's exactly what happened. At some stage in that process, somebody needs to, to be yeah. a, a Roy Keane. And, you know, an awful lot of Roy Keane, as we know. And I remember him playing for Ireland when we qualified uh, for the World Cup, uh, mm. playing against Cyprus, for example, he'd be going, he'd be geeing up people around him uh, mm. and letting them know we didn't yeah. have that. And, and we, we don't, don't have we it. Don't, yeah, well, there's not many Keynes around, Eamon. No, no, no but, uh, but there's lots we, of... Well we, don't, well, we don't have anybody like no. that. Yeah. You know, that's, uh, that's what I was trying to explain to you just early yes. on. Like, it, 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 when, when you've got a, a situation like that, when were you playing the game, as we all know, it comes and goes, Eamon. It comes in your favour, then it goes against you. You don't be on top for 90 minutes, or very, very seldom, very, very seldom. But we were on top for a long time. But a time when you've got to be careful, you've got to do, do and, and as soon as there's any sign of the team getting back into it, there should be somebody there to, to, to notice it and be able to do something about it. Right. I don't see us having anybody like that. So when we're attacking at times, very, very good. The defenders come into it and it's very, very good. But it's very fragile. Yes. Like when we we don't have anybody say this this is going against us, you know, a little bit. So we get a grip of the ball. You get the you give it here, you give it there. You, you just take the take the, the the heat out of it. Yeah. We've nobody like we're, we're all or nothing. 
we're either, we're either attacking from the back, they're going forward, they're getting goals, or we're losing goals. The same in Scotland. I mean, you know, we were ahead in Scotland. Yep. And we lost two goals. Yep. You know, and when you get ahead like that, there's, there's, there's a different way and a certain ways of playing. Yep. Like, no, get the ball, hold it, take the steam out of it yep. until you get back on top again. We don't have anybody to do that. So we're all or nothing. We're all go, go, go at the opposition. Or we're of a good chance of conceding goals. And that's what happened last night, in my opinion, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. And there's no doubt about what happened. The question is why. And the why is down to a mentality, really, a mentality as a team. You know, if you're well on top of a team like that, but you do need people. I mean, when you were playing, John, I played with you for Ireland. I, I didn't have the pleasure of playing with Liam, but certainly you'd have guys, and you were one of them, you know, who was basically saying we need to up the tempo, we need to pressure the ball more, don't let these fuckers back in the game. You need to have that attitude. Mm. And it's, it's an attitude that's so, sort of missing. Yeah. So the next question, John, is about Stephen Kenny. That debate still goes on. Now, there's some idiots in newspapers. You can only call them idiots. I, I don't think soccer is even the, the sport they follow, and I, I won't name names. But he's now facing, I think he should be judged after the Euro qualifications. And I think I can see, say, uh, you know, I can see the improvement in players. Collins is an amazing player. I think he's going to be an amazing player, but I thought he lost his discipline a bit last night. I don't know, Liam, you were at the game, but I thought he was wandering all over the place and he didn't have a, a he was on the right of the, of the back three, but I thought he wandered forward and he kind of lost his concentration. Now he's going to be a top, top player, but where do you feel now, Liam, we need to go with Stephen? Well, uh, well, I mean, we need to, just cut out these unnecessary defeats or even draws against lesser teams. You know, we yeah. can't have that anymore. And I think when the Euros kick off, we're going to have uh, maybe a team of our capability in our group and, and one inferior team. And we've just got to get the points on the board against these yes. teams because we've compromised our chances both in the, in the World Cup the last time I mean, and the Nations League. Uh, we've compromised our chances in the first two or three games against yes. poor, poorer opposition. So we've got to just cut that out. Now, I, I'm, I'm hopeful and I'm optimistic we will, you know, and things need to be learned from last night. You need, you know, uh, we had we had John on the field when, when, he, uh, when we were playing with him and John yep. would say, right, now you pick him up, you pick him up. Yes. That didn't happen last night. I think they thought, Oh, we're going to go on and win this match. After all, Buffemi scored a really good second goal. They thought they were going to go on and win the match comfortably. And they switched off, yeah. you know, and they let, they let the Armenians back in the game. Jeff Hendrick, really, with his experience, uh, might have been expected, Liam, to do that. He's 30. Absolutely, Eamon. Absolutely. Yeah, I thought he was poor last night. I yeah. thought he was poor on the ball. But he was particularly poor in the instance of the of the of the first goal for yes. Armenia. He didn't bother uh, getting close to the guy who picked the ball up and and counter attacked us. Yeah. So you know, Stephen needs to put those things right. That's that's what's damaging him. You know, and if he gets if he, I know you you're saying that uh, we want him to have the Euro campaign to see how far we go. But Eamon, if he was to have a really poor result like we've had against Luxembourg or yes. like we had against Azerbaijan or uh, he's not going to survive it's just not going to happen you yeah. know no I appreciate uh, that the, the, the people in, in power will panic and they will change so he he and his team of coaches and, and the players have, have got to make sure that, that that just doesn't happen and that would be the sign of the improvement that we desperately need yeah and I want to talk to you about obviously I mean, when they were 2-2 last night, Liam, you know I've been a pretty ardent supporter of Stephen and, and what he's done and the way he's done it. But my heart sank because this is kind of, this is crazy stuff. I, di I didn't actually agree with the substitution of Harrahan either. Um, but that's uh, not a major matter. 
John, one of the thing the reasons that I am su- so supportive of him is Obafemi c- comes in to decide he's not playing at Swansea at the moment because he's having a row at the manager. He wanted to get away, but he's a he, he really is playing well. Uh, he did really well again last night, and O'Shea, this young lad from West Brom, and Egan as well as Collins. These are really top players. He's brought these lads into the team. They, they, there's a confidence about them when they come into the team. They don't look frightened. The disappointment in the last two games, Troy Parrott, who I know is a very good player, but he just hasn't scored a goal this year and strikers out of form can really be nervous. But I, I want to go back to ask you, John, what you think now, because you've been kind of supportive of Stephen. What do you think we need to do? Let him go on and see how we get on in the Euros, where we'll be in the third seeds. We'll be in pot number three. So that means there'll be quite a few big nations in pot number two, incidentally, including England, I think. But we need to give him that chance. Oh, there's no doubt. I think there's no doubt about that, Amy. Right. You know, I, think he's, he, I think he's done a lot of good stuff in bringing these players in. Yeah. And that's progress. Yes. But, but then you have to go the step further. Yes, then. You know, the once you get step. those good players in, you yeah. know, as Liam said there, you can't afford to be doing what you did last night. No, no. Which is winning the game, winning it easily. You know what I mean? And yeah. finishing up getting a, getting a penalty in the end yeah. to win it. You know, you, you should be, these players should be given on the pitch what the manager's saying. You know, when you get into yeah. a certain position, what Stephen said afterwards, we went for the third goal. Yeah. Right? Well, that's up to him. You yes. know, that's what I've said. What I'm trying to say is, like, with, with Stephen, it's attack, attack, it's all or nothing. Yeah. You know, there's certain periods of the game where you've got to say, when you, especially when you're too up, I mean, there's little signs. Even when you're too up and there's no signs, you say, right, we're going to keep this. Yeah, it's but, game game management, John. Is it's what game they, management. It's what I said, we call but, it. But yeah. I don't think Stephen encourages that, I mean. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I think he says, well, like when he says, we're going for three up, I'd say that's what he tells them to do. Yeah. You know, when he certainly doesn't stop them from doing it. In right. other words, there should be certain times in the game where certain player that he has in the middle of the field says, look, or get a message out, try it up. Yeah. You know, try it up, get a hold of it. Don't, don't be like, going for the third goal. Why were they going for the third goal? So that's a na- there's a naivety there. Yeah, but yeah, but he doesn't stop that. Right. You know what I mean? He, he didn't say after the match. They, they shouldn't have gone for the third goal or even before like it should be established now with, with Stephen as manager with the players that when we get into that position we're too, when we're too good and we're well comfortable and if yeah. there's any sign at all yeah, we play it out yeah. we, we make sure we finish 2-0 not go for the third I mean the, the players went for the third because Stephen hasn't discouraged them yeah and what's your view now Liam I mean the the, the, the the positives of Stephen is bringing in very young players. They're teenagers, really. Uh, Collins, for example. O'Shea and Egan are more experienced. Well, we could have, we, we could have had three or four playing the under-21 in Israel. Four. Yeah, yeah, we could have so, had four players uh, going to Israel. and we So that's a, measure, that's a measure of what he's done. He's brought these young lads yes. on and they're all getting plenty of games now at, at full international level, but they've got to learn from their experience. Yeah. And, you know, it showed last night that they still have a, a way to go as regards uh, learning uh, the, to how to control a game, how to finish the game off. We weren't actually going for the third goal when we conceded our no. first one. It was just switch, switched off, you know. Yes. Uh, Hurahan and, and Hendrick in the middle of the park, they weren't picking up and the next minute, uh, uh, the Armenians were, were were on the edge of our box. You know that's that was poor, poor, poor play from two experienced players. Yes. Now Stephen's got to Stephen's got to leave those guys under, you know, no illusions. What what they what what needs to go on? He can't you can't afford that because he won't keep his job and 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 and, and things will go backwards rather than go forwards. We. We're we're going forwards, albeit albeit. How can I say? Uh, it's it's almost like two steps forward and one step backwards, Eamon. You know, uh, I think the Scotland match emphasised that we were very very good, but we ended up losing the game, and we're scratching our heads why we should 
why we should lose that game when we shouldn't have done, you know. So those things need to have to be cut out if Stephen's going to keep his job and the enthusiasm, enthusiasm that is there. It's definitely there. I, I don't know what John felt, but there's a really good atmosphere amongst the fans getting behind this team because they know they're they're still learning on the job as yes, such. Yes. Uh, and and I, I think the crowd are, are, are with them. So uh, Stephen's really got to take uh, take this on now into the next campaign. And we've just got to uh, make sure that we don't do anything silly like we've done in the, you know we've done in the past and we did last night up to a certain extent. I know we won the match. And for the purposes of this conversation and going forward, Liam, do you think he should keep his job and be judged at the end of the Euro, Euro qualification process? Well, if 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 we're two games into the the Euros, Eamon, and we're out and we're out of contention, yeah. he probably he probably shouldn't keep his job, you know, because then. That's that's it happening time and time again, isn't it? Yeah, and it's got to stop. It's got to stop. So it, it, much will depend on how he begins the campaign. Amy. Okay, John, your view as to his future, because that's what people are. Some people, quite a few of them, idiots, are talking about. Well, no, I would. I I think he's he's in the job now, Eamon, at a time where it can get better. Yes. But as Liam says, he's got to really do it now. I wouldn't sack him by any means. I yeah. would I would say I would say to him, Look, you've got you've got the full go at the next competition we're in. Yeah. I would he's just signed a new contract anyway. Yeah. And, you know, if I was so of course he's made mistakes. All managers make mistakes. So you learn from as Liam is saying he's got to learn from them now. He's got, I think he's got he's got a good few games behind him. Uh, there should be no talk from anybody about him being sacked at right. this particular stage. Let him get on with the job. The next tournament we're in, and see, see he has an opportunity to really do do his stuff yes. now. Aiming after, and that's it. Leave leave him alone. Let him get on with it now. It a disappointing result last night in many ways, but he's learned and he's learned. He goes on. He's got younger players in the team. Give him the go. Let him have a go. And 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 we'll see in the next tournament. Whether it's working or it's not working, but we'll leave him alone for the for the time being and let him get on with what he has to do. Okay, John Giles and Liam Brady, thank you both very much for joining us on the stand, and thanks also for putting to bed some of the nonsense that's uh, being published by newspapers.